Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Mesa. I'm student of English department of Muhammadiyah University of Cirebon, RUMC. So today in this opportunity, I want to review. No, I want to retell, retelling about the short story that I already read before. Uh, the title of the story is The Magic Mirror. Uh, this is a traditional Spanish story. So let's get started. So the story is about uh, the king of uh, Granda that decided to marry and then he tried to inform it to his barber and then ask his barber to announce it uh, to all of the people in that place in that city that he wants to marry i mean the king the king of granda and then of course after that uh, the barber uh, told it to all of the people like to the old woman to the watchman and then to all of his customer and then all of his friends like that and then the old woman asked to the barber how will the king choose a wife uh, to which uh, he replied to find a worthy woman i am afraid i shall have a great trouble uh, the barber say that he and the king have a magic mirror so if any woman who isn't uh, truly good looks into the mirror uh, the blemish on her character will appear as so many spots on its glossy surface the only condition to be uh, his wife the king's wife is uh, all of the women only have to gaze into the mirror uh, with the king and his barber only look at the mirror it's so simple right um, that is so really strange that there are no women who come to the barber to look at the mirror why why no one who brave to take a mirror it's so really strange Days and weeks went by, and the king was no closer to getting a wife. So really strange. Why he is a, ki a king? I think it will be so really easy. It will be so really easy to get a wife. But why? Why King Gar is so really hard to get a wife? The king of Granda is so really handsome. He is a really handsome man and loved by all of his subject in that city but it was surprising that none of the lovely ladies in that city want to become his wife i don't know why <laughs> because many excuses were given and then uh, the king always asking to the barber uh, about uh, who is want to be his wife but uh, the barber always said no one no one king, no one is come to my barber shop. So really strange. And then uh, the king said that is there no maiden in this land willing to offer herself to be the bride of the king? Kings I know in other lands have no trouble getting married. Why is this happen to me? Said the king. And then uh, the barber said uh, to the king, Your Majesty, there is one possibility. The shepherdess on the mountain inside may break the magic power of the mirror. But would you marry such a lovely girl? And then the king uh, said that ask her to come. So the barber invited uh, the shepherdess to come to the castle to see to see to look at the magic mirror and then after that the barber uh, brought the shepherdess to the castle and then of course he also announced it to all of the people around the city uh, and then to the royal family too uh, he announced it that there are a trial was going to be made then when the shepherdess uh, enter to the castle 
uh, she felt very shy because there are so much people there uh, and then the king said to the shepherdess that she would be uh, his wife if she brave enough to look at the mirror she replied uh, to the king like sir everyone make a mistake everyone have a mistake on their past so i'm not different that's a really good thing this is the part that made me so really interesting with this story because the shepherdess is so really brave i like her so much and then she also said i have made mistakes with my flock but i think they must forgive me because every day they let me take care of them and if they sense danger they come to me for protection i love my sheep and do my best for them uh, but truly i have no ambition to become queen but i'm not afraid to look into that magic mirror how brave she is she said that I have an ambition to be a queen, but I'm not afraid to look at the mirror, to check the mirror. I love her. <laughs> and after that, the court ladies uh, surrounded her. They tried to uh, take the mirror and guess it, but there are no difference. <laughs> there are there are not something magic on that mirror and then uh, all of the women asked to the king are you lying i think that's only the strategy that mirror is not magic and then the king said no ladies it is not but if you had been as confident about your character as this shepherdess who is now going to be my queen you wouldn't have refused to look into the mirror. I know now that my bride is truly the best amongst you all. So, I think uh, the moral value of this story is really great because we have to confident with ourselves and then we have to brave to admit our mistake because all of the people in the world of course either have a mistake either make a mistake so what's wrong with that so nothing perfect in this world so it's okay to admit your mistake it's good to be good okay i think that's enough from me uh, that is the retelling story uh from the short story that i already read before i'm sorry if there are some mistakes that I made uh, while I'm recording this video. See you again. Thanks for watching.